Today we're going to be talking about rewrite rules in FOMA. Rewrite rules are used when you want to transform any part of an input text. FOMA makes it easy to replace, remove, or insert any characters or sets of characters, uh, either dependent on the context or independent of context. The most simple form of a replacement rule is demonstrated in this first line. Uh, this rule replaces every instance of input with output. Um, it creates a transducer and passes everything else through unmodified uh, due to this error right here. Uh, if you have a computer science background, you can think of this like a for each loop. For each instance of input, replace it with output. A more concrete example of this rule is shown below. Uh, this replaces every instance of A with B. We can pop over to FOMA to demonstrate this at the moment. Uh, so if we add in a regex, which replaces A with B, then if we enter into uh, our apply down mode, we can enter uh, input and FOMA will evaluate it for us. So if we enter A, we get a B back. If we enter B, we get a B. Any other input, uh, for, for, for any other input, if there's an A in the input, uh, it will be replaced, otherwise it will not. Um, kill that and then go back to Vim. Um, so the, the next important FOMA concept is FOMA rewrite rules with context. So in FOMA, sometimes you don't want to replace every single instance of input with output. Sometimes you only just, you only want to replace certain instances, say at the beginning of the word or coming directly after a certain letter. And that's where this format comes in. Uh, this is like a for each with a conditional inside. So this says, for each instance of input, replace it with output if the context is satisfied. There are three main types of contexts in FOMA. Uh, there's left context, right context, and then left and right context combined. Left context says, replace B with C if the context on the left of the B is A. The right context says, for every instance of X, replace it with Y if coming directly after the X is a Z. Then we can combine both of these for when we want to specify uh, that uh, a, a word or letter or series of characters is surrounded by two, two regexes. Uh, so th this says replace D with G if and only if E is on the left of the D and P comes after the D. Um, the, next, uh, the, the, the next set of important rewrite rules in FOMA are uh, insertions and deletions. Uh, a concept in FOMA that we haven't talked about yet is the concept of an empty string or nothing. And an insertion can be thought of as replacing an empty string with a string. We represent an empty string with a, uh, a series of brackets uh, with two periods on the inside. Um, and here we're just going to replace those with x in every instance that it comes after e. A deletion works uh, in much the same fashion, except flipped. What we're going to do is replace every instance of r with nothing when we see R. This is a context-free deletion. Right? It has, it's, it's not dependent on what comes around the R. It says take every single R and remove it. One last important concept to cover is word boundaries. Word boundaries in FOMA are represented using this character, which is a period, a pound sign, and then a period. Um, this rule says let's replace every empty string with a T in the case that it comes just after a word boundary. The only time that something will come just after a word boundary is at the start of a word. So what this rule does is add a T at the beginning of every word. Similarly, this rule adds a T to the end of every word because the word boundary is at the end. Right? We say, given that this comes directly before the end of a word. 
So with these, uh, with, with this brief introduction to rewrite rules, uh, you should be able to make uh, uh, simple transducers and uh, basic uh, text mangling uh, in FOMA. Uh, thank you for watching and good luck.